Hello, my name is Scott McCall. I am an artist and instructor at the Bainbridge Island Museum of Art here with another Art in Action. Today, we will be creating block letters. So we're gonna talk a little bit about block letters and what they're for and why artists use them. Um, but first, let's get out a clean sheet of paper and we're gonna need a pencil and an eraser. So block letters are a style of, of creating art. It's used a lot in mural making and sign painting and in fashion and in graphic design. But it's a really cool way of using text in your artwork. So what a block letter is, is it's a way of making a very bold, big uh, word, right? Like a letters that come together to create a word. So say for example, I wanted to write the word Bima. If I wrote it just like I do it with my handwriting, it doesn't really make that much of an impact. So instead, I might want to use something that felt like it was a big, bold, fat, marker like this one I have here, right? So if I did that, that same word would look more like And this is what we're doing with block letters. We're trying to create the illusion that our drawing and the letters that we're using are big and bold and thick, like they were painted with a big brush or a big roller. So I'm gonna get my a new clean sheet of paper out and I'm just gonna talk you through very quickly how to think of drawing a letter. So I'm gonna start with the letter B, like in Bima. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just kind of like sketch out very lightly my shape. Now, what we have here so far is just a line drawing of a, the letter B, but we don't want it to look like lines. We want it to look like real thick, chunky shape, like a brush painted it. So we're gonna turn this one line into a thick line by drawing both sides of it, something like that. And I can use my eraser and come back in. I'm using light lines because they're gonna erase really easy. And then I'm gonna come in here and figure out kind of these hollow areas of the letter. Because remember our letter B has in here these hollow areas. So I'm gonna figure out what those look like. And once I do, I can kind of start figuring out my outline, which is the final part. So once I have my letter sketched, I can come in here and start cleaning it up with my eraser. One thing to talk about when you're designing your letter, which is the act of making it the way it looks, right? And figuring out what you think looks best. You can design a letter to look as straight and almost computerized as you'd like, or you can make it funky. I'm a fan of funky letters, although this one's pretty, Pretty computerized almost looking. Almost like what we call a sans serif font. All right, so I got my letter kind of sketched out. It's time for my outline. I'm gonna go ahead and get my marker and put it all together. real steady handed. And that's how we do a block letter. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you for watching. Feel free to share any work inspired by this project. Until next time, it's art in action.